Charmia Dixon makes eyeglasses for veterans. This is where I polish the lenses. Even though she lost her own vision to glaucoma. It's given me more independence more confidence. But Dixon's job and more than 100 others at this North Carolina lab are in jeopardy. You know, I don't want a pity party, but I mean, it's just, it's harder for blind and visually impaired to find employment. David Horton runs IFB Solutions, the nation's largest employer of people who are blind or visually impaired. Hey, Bobby, hey, Bobby, how you doing? Yeah, how you doing? All right, buddy. We have a lot of people who are dependent on their, their jobs here, and this is the first, um, you know, real challenge that we have really had. The nonprofit is at risk of losing its contract with the Department of Veterans Affairs following a court decision on the rule of two. That policy stipulates the VA must give precedence awarding contracts to veteran-owned small businesses over other programs right. like theirs called Ability One. The workers here at IFB Solutions make about 1,200 eyeglasses a day, but sustaining that volume would be a huge challenge if the company has to lay people off. If we lose um, you know, all of our optical business with the VA, we're starting from scratch with an empty lab, and all these people will, will not have a job. And zero glasses. Zero glasses a day. Horton says if it comes to that, he'll look for ways to transfer workers to other divisions, making everything from military equipment to scissors. The sky's the limit. Seeing that just fuels my fire to, to fight to keep people employed. The company is also enlisting help from lawmakers. Several sent a letter to the VA secretary asking the department to cease attempting to take away any current contracts. In a statement to CBS News, the VA responded, if Congress wants to change the federal laws, it has said that government in this process, it can choose to do so. I truly hope that they consider keeping this contract for us so we can show them that we're worth it. Something Dixon hopes Washington will see. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Winston-Salem, North Carolina.